to the freeway uh, overpass. I'm turning the radio down. The Molson's Brewery on the right hand side. We're heading into Chilliwack. This is the freeway overpass. Heading left, it will be going to Vancouver. Heading right, it will be going to Hope. Travel Lodge Hotel on the left hand side. Looks like corn on the right hand side of that field. Might be mistaken, I can't see it very clearly from here. Might be other vegetables. Where I get my car wash on the right hand side. Best Boys Car Wash. I'll be head there on Monday. We're heading into downtown Chilliwack. We've got a little ways to go yet. Starbucks on the right hand side. Tearing up the sidewalk there. We have car dealerships, a private religious school on the left, car dealerships, car repairs, various businesses. gas stations pretty good restaurant on the left hand side coming up on the other side of the street called Bozzini's we enjoy eating there on the right hand side I'm not sure if you can see it or not but it's uh, the Greek Island restaurant another great restaurant to eat at There's an overpass coming up that goes over the railway tracks. It's a main line railway line. Car dealership on the left hand side that I go to for my car. It's a Hyundai dealership. Building on the right hand side, just coming into view now, is the building that Debbie used to work at. Now we're going over the uh, railway overpass. McDonald's on the other side. into the downtown area. Our town is not all that big. A little strip mall on the uh, left hand side. More restaurants in there. Shopping, drugstores. Gas stations here. More restaurants to my right, you can't see them. An old Safeway store uh, got converted into a Fresh Co on the right hand side, that's just out of view.
Alright, heading into the downtown area now. KFC. The white building up ahead used to be our city hall when the town was quite young. It's now the Chilliwack Museum. Churches on the left, banks up ahead, Save on Foods, which is a shopping uh, grocery store. The Canada Trust building, the building on the left hand side, just the uh, brick building now with the green awning. That's where I used to work. And we are pretty much in the downtown area. Here's our courthouse and the clock tower. Up ahead is what we call five corners. It's where five streets intersect. Homer's restaurant on the right hand side used to be a good place to eat. I don't know what it's like uh, now. Been a long time since I've been down here. This five corners up ahead, they are uh, renovating the, uh, the street because there's a, a new apartment block uh, going in with commercial uh, buildings all there and uh, they are renovating this corner here making it wider putting turning lanes in all sorts of things they covered up a beautiful mural in that building on the right and this is downtown this is it Two streets this way, two streets that way, two streets another way. Not a lot to brag about. But I'm going to take a detour here. Businesses boarded up. It's a very troubled area. A lot of activity from the homeless to uh, those that are less fortunate. The restaurant on the corner here called The Rendezvous. A great place to eat. Across the street is Gwendolyn Park, or not Gwendolyn Park, I can't remember the name of it now. Dang. But uh, that's where we have all of our festivals, is in this park. Lots of traffic here today. How come? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, what the name of the park is. Sorry. There's an elementary school here as well. We're heading north right now. I just took you on a little detour downtown just to give you an idea of what that's like. People out for a ride with their kids. Great way to get exercise. This is heading north towards the Fraser River. The Fraser River is a major river that uh, uh, flows through our northern part of our province, or mid, mid to northern, or northern, I'm not sure how to explain it. But a lot of water comes down, a lot of tributaries feed into the uh, Fraser, and that's what we're gonna head towards. look and see how high the water is. We're coming up to what's called a slough. It's called the Hope Slough. You can't really see it from this camera view, but I'm going to take a quick look. The water level is very high here. That means that the river Fraser River is also high. 
This business on the left is Minter Gardens, a very popular garden shop. He used to own a, a botanical garden, it closed down a few years ago. People just got tired of going to it for some reason. It was a beautiful garden. Everybody thought, oh, it's never going to go away. And then one day, the owner said, we're selling. Closing up and selling. What we're on right now is called a dike. The road has been elevated to a certain level. On the left-hand side, that is the unprotected land. And the land on the right-hand side is the protected land. For whatever reason, uh, they decided to make this road the dike. Uh, I don't know why they didn't build it elsewhere, but uh, they did. Heading off to the left is Island 22, and I'm going to head down there first. And that uh, is a popular boat launch area. We're going to go right into the sun, unfortunately. I usually come down here, get out of my car. The mosquitoes down here are meat eaters. I swear to God, they're man eaters. I believe this is all native property. We're heading into here. This road is a dike as well. And we go into this Navi Jack type of road. Oh, look at the river. Holy mackerel. It is up uh, pretty high. It's going to get pretty bumpy here. Look at that, that's the Fraser River, one of the tributaries that goes around an island. Wow, that water is just swirling in there. It's a popular place for sturgeon fishing. People come down to this island 22 to launch their boats. And they give uh, people fishing tours. People from all over the world come here to fish sturgeon. Sturgeon is a catch and release type fish to protect it. It's, it's a prehistoric fish, believe it or not. Well, the gates are still open, that's good. The Island 22 area was flooded, this gate would be closed. There's a nature preserve to my left here. Thousands of geese will come here on their migration routes. Oh, the, uh, the gatehouse is open, so I didn't realize that they were open. Have to have a talk with them and tell them I'll just turn around. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm not staying. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I wouldn't want to get out of your car anyway. No, I know. I'm just doing a little video of my little tour here for a friend that lives in Australia. Well, she... it's it's beautiful here. Oh. Just make sure you get a video of this. Yeah, no kidding. The mosquitoes are just hovering here. I just want to go down to the boat launch and then turn around and I'll come back. It's all good. Thanks, man. Oh, that guy was very nice. Man, the mosquitoes, as soon as I opened up the window, there must have been 50 mosquitoes trying to get into the vehicle here. I'm sure some of them got in here. <clears throat> oh, look at all the uh, vehicles coming down here. Wow, look at that. 
whoa, the water level is way, way up. You see the tree way in the distance there. That's where the, the gravel would go out to. Wow, unreal, unreal, wow. Well, there used to be a campground here. Now it's just a doggy park down at the other end. But this is as far as I want to go. People have launched their boats here. I like that guy's bike, electric bike. My. All right, so let's carry on and uh, well, I think a mosquito got in here. I think I'm being attacked by one. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Dang. Yeah, there's not much there. If you were going to use the doggy park, you'd have to pay to come in here. I am cutting in. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> I waved to him, but he didn't see me. And that's okay. Parking fee is now in effect. There's an equestrian area to my right. Well, this road is bumpy. This road is bumpy. Well, a little rabbit on the road. A little baby one. All right, let's go down to the other part to see if the road is flooded. trying to figure out what the depth might be and if I if I said 40 feet I might be close might be less might be more it's a very old river but a lot of sediment uh, builds up in here and uh, with all the flooding and everything that goes on you'll also uh, see uh, big trees that have been uh, undermined and then they just fall into the river and float down the river. Further up the river there's a, uh, a catch basin where they catch the lumber that uh, comes down and a lot of it comes down. And then it goes to the sawmill and they, uh, they'll make two by fours, two by sixes, four by fours, three by threes, whatever they need. Telephone poles, all depends what uh, comes down the river. Some of it uh, will go for campers to uh, burn. Now we're back on the main paved road. Oh, I got a mosquito in here, I can see him. Oh, no, that's a fly. Great. Find the fly. Just open a window and see if we can, uh, there, oh, he almost went out. He almost went out. Go figure. Okay, we're going to head north. This is Young Road. Head north on Young Road. The white uh, tubes over there, that's uh, hay. That's how they, they harvest the hay and they roll it. And then they put it into plastic so that uh, the hay stays dry. If it gets slightly wet, it can combust. And that's not a good sign, especially if it's in a barn. So they put it in the uh, waterproof plastic to keep it dry. And that way they can uh, feed the uh, animals in the barn for many, many months well after the growing season has stopped. Alright, we're back on to this dike again. We have to turn right here because there's a business, a concrete business down at the very end. So 
but we come off of the dike and we're just traveling through the farmland here. This is corn on the right hand side. It's only a couple of feet tall. It'll probably grow to six or eight feet tall. And you'll get maybe two or three cobs of corn off of each stalk. One stalk per plant. There's more corn. They uh, plant it so that it's uh, ripe at differing times. So it's not all ripe at the same time. It's beautiful home chair. Wow. Nice. Some people here riding their bike. I'll give them uh, the leeway here. Yeah. Thank you very much for moving over. I always give them the benefit of the doubt. Never know how good they are at bike riding. And just a slight movement. And a car can just run right over them. Okay, McDonald Road. Oh, nice old truck. Wow. Beautiful area. Beautiful area. This is where people have acreage with horses and various animals. Right on lawnmowers. That's a fun thing to do. Now just up ahead, we're gonna go back up onto the dike again, and this is where I wanted to go. I might go a little bit further, we'll see. Let's see uh, if they block the road off. It doesn't look like the road is blocked off yet, that I can see. This is a turnaround area. Nope, no, we can go down here. Look at this. This road up ahead here gets flooded. That's what I wanted to see. Just how high the water level actually was. Wow. This is just a, a farm road. And uh, where we are here, it can flood. It just depends on how high the water gets. saying that but it is the water comes from the interior of British Columbia and it's a combination of uh, snow melt and uh, rain a couple of nice people on bikes there as you can see here the road is not very far off the water. Probably got another three feet, maybe? Can't quite tell. Maybe, maybe more. Three or four feet. Up ahead, you can see that the road lowers. You can see how close the water is. We're only within less than two feet of flooding in this area here. Less than two feet. Everybody comes for a looky-loo visit to see how high the river is. See what's flooded, see what's not flooded. But this is just so beautiful. So beautiful. Got kind of a swampy area beside me where the water has accumulated. And there's corn in there as well. And we go back up onto the dike again. Corn on our right hand side. on the uh, the dike the dike road and then we for whatever reason we come off of the dike the dike is on the right hand side that's the rise there this is the lower road off the dike why 
why they did this? I have no idea. Maybe to feed these farms here with the road. And back up onto the dike again. And we're gonna turn here. So that's the dike, and then this is the road on the other side of the dike. And we'll go left here. More and more people enjoying the the fresh air and the sunshine. This is a beautiful area to ride a bike. Some days it can have a lot of traffic on it. Some days maybe not. on the same side that's good right older lady older gentleman good that they're out you know, we don't see an awful lot of old people riding bikes out here it's usually a young person thing and there's farms on both sides Love the old fence made of timber. Old red barns. Now I'm not really sure which way I want to go. No exit. Okay, so we will go right. This is Kitchen Road. Okay. Bike route, all right. Ooh, it's flooded on the right hand side to me. And the left hand side. Very beautiful homes on the, these properties. Doctors, lawyers, businessmen, probably. I have no idea what they're growing there. Not sure if it's blueberries or what it is. I'm really not sure. Hard to tell. Oh, we should have gone down that road. Okay. So I got pasture on the left hand side. They probably just uh, harvested the uh, the hay off of it. They'll let it grow back again. They might get two or three cuttings off of the field. beside me on my left hand side there you see the orange uh, tubes there that's uh, hay as well they can put them in white they can put them in green I think the color is chosen so that it doesn't uh, raise the temperature it deflects the light Beautiful drive. Very, very beautiful. Wow, another house. Whew. Some 
rich people live down there. Well, they're fishing on the uh, little slough here. I should have got a picture of that. Must have been six or eight kids all fishing there. Side be on the left. Well, things like the slough, we would have a lot of flooding in our fields. The slough basically takes the water away from the fields, keeping the farms somewhat bull or above the water table. Makes it better for growing. They want to flood the, the soil. Beside the slough here, there's a uh, park bench that is un virtually underwater. I'm not sure. Oh, the water level has gone down six inches. It was right up to the seat level of the bench. But we're expecting another surge of water. So it looks like the river was higher and gone down. And I've heard that on Tuesday, today's Saturday, and I heard that uh, on Tuesday it uh, was uh, going to uh, rise up again. A lot of snow melt up uh, in the interior. This week that water has to come or go somewhere and it comes down here so we're gonna turn uh, left here this is Menzies done kind of a circle so I'm going to come into Chilliwack from the east side now. Just went over the slough. Oh, buy a Zodiac for a thousand bucks. Hmm. wonder what's wrong with it. Seems a little inexpensive. Kids on these scooters, you don't know where they're gonna go. Putting a new Dollarama on the building to the left. It used to be an IGA grocery store. Now it's gonna be a Dollarama. Okay, traffic is good. So we're coming into the east side of Chilliwack, or from the east side, I should say. The 
This has been a very rough area of town. It's an early part of town that got settled. And as the years went by, it just sort of went downhill. Some heritage homes in here, which are very nice. There's a high school on the right hand side and a middle school on the left hand side. Both have been uh, renovated. The high school, they actually tore down the old one and built a new one. Beautiful building. They're always building something new. Popeyes, fast food going in here. Now up ahead on the right hand side, you'll see a bunch of people standing outside. One of them will be a security guard. This is a homeless shelter. It was supposed to be temporary, but they extended it. So all these people hanging around the 7-Eleven, this is probably where they call home. We have a lot of homeless people here for the population that we have. to the downtown area. A lot of street people. Our post office is on the right hand side. That building is as old as we are living here. More street people. Very, very sad. This building on the right hand side contains Old Phillips. It's a clothing store for elderly ladies, mid to elderly. And uh, they've decided to close up shop after 50 years. This is our downtown area. The renovated building on the left hand side. Supposed to smarten up this area, but only time will tell what happens. turn left here and we're going to go back down onto that road that was uh, north and south couldn't turn left back there on the left hand side there used to be an old hotel there called the Empress Hotel and uh, it was in its day it was a class place to be but because of our downtown deterioration it no longer is a class place to be we have a hotel on the right hand side here called the Coast Hotel. Nice hotel. A lot of functions happen there. And uh, in behind there's a pond called Salish Pond. Another little area, a 
it's nice to hang out at, but unfortunately, homeless people also hang out there. So you have to be careful when you go to these places. Heading over the railway tracks. Last time we went over the railway tracks, it was on an overpass. This is a level crossing. More homeless people. There's a bottle depot to the right here, and like a homeless shelter there as well. Another car dealership on the left hand side. businesses on the right two big churches on the left hand side you can't quite see them but they're very popular churches Restaurant there called Jimmy J's. To the right hand side is the pub. Called Characters. Jimmy J's is the restaurant part. Very successful business. Great food, great service. There's an ambulance. No lights on, that's good. Our city hall is to the left here. It's not a very big structure, two story. Retirement homes on the right hand side. Now yeah, let's go down uh, the street here. See if we can uh, pick up some corn. Pictures of it, that is. This is also heading to our local airport. It's a municipal airport. It's very small. It's for light planes. You can take flying lessons here. Probably helicopter flying, airplane flying lessons. We have a little air show that happens here, but this year, because of COVID-19, it wasn't going to happen. We have our, our one of our RCMP detachments. This is the highway detachment. Directly behind me on the next block is the uh, regular detachment. This is the forestry uh, building. BC government looks after our forests, manages them. Now on the right hand side, oh, I thought I was gonna see corn, but no corn to be seen. All right. All right, we'd have to turn around and uh, head, this, head in a different direction to see the corn. We, had, we are virtually surrounded by thousands of acres of corn. The road that I took you on does not show all of the thousands of acres. Well, let's turn around here. place that was for sale but it's not they repainted 
all the lines, added the green areas for warn you of uh, possible bike traffic because we, we have bike lanes here. Far right hand side is a bike lane. A lot of people take advantage of these bike lanes. We have people that commute back and forth to work on a bike. RCMP Highways Detachment. The airport on my left. All sorts of businesses along the uh, runway. Sun and I apologize for that. No idea what the video is going to look like going into the sun. I won't know until I look at the video. This is also like a training thing for me to figure out okay how this camera is going to work. So far it's worked out pretty darn good. called the Osmo Pocket. It's got a gimbal head to it. Video will always stay stable. Or level, I should say. More car dealerships. The airport runway is to my left. south now. This is our casino. They don't like to call it a casino. They like to call it a gaming center. But it actually is a casino as far as I'm concerned. New hotel is going to be built on the left of me here. I'm going to go under the freeway and we're going to turn right. to the sun and we're heading back to my home look at the corn on the right hand side and I believe that's corn on the left hand side if I just go off the road here for a minute I might be able to swing around to see it better not really, but you can see acres and acres and acres of corn here. And that's just one little section. One little section. Up ahead, the railway tracks go over the freeway. That's early corn. Or not, I shouldn't say early. It was just planted not too long ago. Oh, blueberries. Mm, yummy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Very, very cool. Best Buy shopping area. And there's a superstore. Oh, excuse me for the hiccuping. Superstore shopping area. Tim Hortons. Donut shop. Businesses on the left. Self storage. And our big Canadian flag that we can see from our suite. Very nice.
fast food restaurants all around us here. Wendy's, Burger King, just name a few. Tim Hortons, Starbucks. This is a very busy intersection, a very dangerous intersection, if you ask me. I'm trying to avoid it like the plague. Canadian Tire on the left, Staples on the right. This is a back route to my home. all across the street. This mall is going to go through a huge renovation. The winter store is still open. I'll be open till 8 o'clock. That's my building on the uh, right hand side here. My building. <laughs> no, it's the building where I live. Let's head into the underground parking.